Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to give an intro to the intro on this particular video because it's the first video of three uh, from my trip up to Maryland to see my mom. And I just wanted to let you know, and I'll say it again here soon, but this is non-motorcycle content. It's more of a four-wheeled adventure. Well, it is actually a four-wheeled adventure. Um, some silliness, the more tired I become <laughs> over the drive and uh, just me trying something different and it's a type of video that i could see being interesting uh done on a motorcycle trip which i will not be taking anytime soon on my 250 but regardless that is what this is if you stick around to the end of the video i will also pop back in and tell you a little bit about what's upcoming in the other Maryland videos that I will be sharing with you. But one more thing, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who was so incredibly welcoming to me when I posted my uh, I'm back video. It was really nice. Uh, it made me feel good. Uh, so many wonderful comments and I have almost responded to all of them at this point. <laughs> and if I haven't, I will get there, I promise. So on with the show, something like that. Hello, Dashers. I'm trying that out, by the way. So, as you notice, I'm in a car. This is non-motorcycle related content this week because I am on my way to go see my mother in Maryland. If that interests you and you wanna see my trip and some things up there as well, probably broke it out into a few different videos, then these videos are for you. If not, that's okay. So, almost 900 miles. Here we go. Well, I've been on the road for an hour and I have, if I were to drive straight through, leave the house, go to my mom's house, the shortest it's ever taken me to get there was uh, 12 and a half hours and the longest, most painful, <laughs> arduous trip ever was 18 and a half hours. And yes, there are plenty of times where I actually leave in the morning early and get there in the evening, whether that's going to Maryland or coming back to Florida. But this time around, I am leaving right after work or not too long after work on a Friday so that I can get at least half of the trip out of the way and then finish it up tomorrow. So if you can't tell, I am right by the interstate. I am at a Love's travel stop, not one of the nicer ones by the way, and I have the essential McDonald's because there's no Wawa's around here either and no Starbucks. All that to say, I am three and a half hours into my trip and I'm about a quarter of the way to my stopping point. So there you go, your travelogue update. <sighs> I need a lot of this. Just a small update to keep you entertained. Only I would have my air conditioning go out while I'm on a road trip. More on that later. Back on the road. As you can see, we are at Love's Again, it is about one in the morning and I am about to uh, go inside and, uh, I don't know, find something to munch on or drink. I'm not really sure what I want. <laughs> I just needed a break because I've been driving for six and a half hours, I guess, at this point. I'm trying to make at least halfway before I stop and rest, but 
I don't know, I'm not really tired yet. I just needed a break. So I'm gonna keep going, see how far I get. And uh, let's see what kind of fun things we can find inside of the Love's Truck Stop. <laughs> All right, off we go. Is it weird that I'm shopping for sunglasses at one in the morning? I am currently at the Fayetteville rest stop and I have decided it is time to stop for the night, take a little rest because I just made it through about 45 minutes of rain and it's supposed to rain for another hour. And there is nothing I dislike more than driving at night in the rain. <laughs> so I'm going to take a nap. That last nap didn't quite work out the way I was expecting. It's now quarter to five or so in the morning and I still haven't slept. I tried, but then I got back on the road and now I'm sleepy. So. Let's see if I can get a nap in before I get back on the road and get some coffee <laughs> to get the day up and running. I'm getting closer. I've only got about 300 miles to go. I think I just got to Virginia, but honestly, I'm a little bleary at this point. I don't even know. <laughs> see you on the flip side. And yes, this is officially Virginia. I've been in state for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. I did get an hour and a half of sleep. And now I keep looking at all of the signs on the interstate, hoping one of them says Starbucks or somewhere that has real coffee. I need real coffee. I just kind of wanted to take a moment so that it isn't just stop start Jeannie gets in and out of the car and say that I am super excited to get to Maryland and I don't know about you but whenever I go back home as soon as I know I'm going I start thinking about all of the things I'm excited to experience you know other than seeing my mom of course but Here's one thing that I look forward to, especially in the summertime if I'm going to Maryland, and that is walking on the grass barefoot. And I know those of you who don't understand, that have never lived in Florida, may not understand why that's so appealing, but the grass, or at least my parents' grass, feels like velvet. It sounds so ridiculous, but if you try to walk on the grass and bare feet in Florida, it's like walking on, I don't know, nails <laughs> or toothpicks. It's just always so dry and miserable. <sighs> hey, weird fact, there you go. <sighs> Soon I will find you coffee. Soon I will find you and I will drink you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. So I know you are probably tired of seeing the inside of my car by now, but so am I. But look what I found. <gasps> Coffee. Sheets. We don't have sheets in Florida, but we do have Wawa. And I don't know what I would do if I had to choose between the two. <gasps> but you know what? I don't have to. We're in the home stretch, people. I think I have about two and a half hours to go, maybe. Getting closer. It's kind of gray and miserable outside right now. And I think it's like in the 60s, which is amazing. Okay. Me and my coffee. We're hitting the road again.
Now, I'm not at my house yet or my mom's house yet, but I had to make a quick stop because there was a, an urgent bathroom need. I know I felt the need to share that with you, <laughs> but hey, let's be real. So anyway, I'm here, I'm in my hometown and I'm going to say farewell for now and I will wrap this up. And then if you stick around, I'm going to film the road out to my mom's house or a little bit of it because it's a fun road to drive on. It's lots of curves and little hills. <sighs> I'll be home in like 10 minutes. So thanks for hanging around with me and sticking with me while I did all of this crazy stuff on the way home. Until next time. There you go. Thank you to those of you brave enough to stick around to the end. <laughs> uh, I did tell you I would let you know what was coming up in these next few videos, two videos specifically. I take you to my absolute favorite place and the one place I always visit when I go home to see my mom. I'm not gonna tell you where it is. You'll just have to wait and see that. I also take you around uh, where I grew up, a little bit of a tour and meeting the neighbors, kind of, in the next video. And then the last video, which will be the third one from Maryland, is going to be specifically a tour of also this really, you know what, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm just not gonna tell you because I would go on and on and this, this video is, you know, it's done. So there might be a blooper or two after this or not. Either way, see you next time. This is only my second video. Wait, two of those makes four. Anyway, never mind. Try that again.